Unboxing the JBL Boombox. This is from Best Buy. You know, they shipped it in the uh, actual packing box. You would think they would have at least double boxed it. But nope. So, I put a security seal, which I cut already. Let's make sure this thing is new. These just came out. So. Assuming the uh, cables are in here. Tough to do this with one hand, so bear with me. Oh, for now, I'll just open it and then later I'll uh, test it out. Bluetooth, see how it goes. Uh, okay. Completely tearing this packing cover. Unboxing. Sorry, I need another hand here. JBL Boombox. I'll give a little review on this uh, as soon as I get this thing hooked up, probably sometime tomorrow. This is fairly new. It's only been out, what, about a, a month at most? So I'm hoping it sounds good. It's supposed to be waterproof, and I need something for my. Uh, Yardmaster screen, if I want to do a movie outside, I'm going to use this for like both movies and then inside. Uh, so, we'll keep you posted. Thanks for looking for the few of you that do. Let's see, okay, part two. Let's see how this thing sounds. I'll start with trying to pair it. So, the sound was pretty good. I picked that song because it was a pretty rich sounding song. Uh, you could hear the cymbal crashes pretty well. The bass was um, a little muted because it was in indoor mode. In outdoor mode, I just I checked and it just has a deeper bass to it. And uh, it was a fairly clean sound. I mean, you know, it's not a like a high-end, obviously, separate component uh, system, but 
the fact that you can uh, chain up to 100 of these uh, makes for a pretty good uh, party speaker for sure. And this one was, you know, excellent volume. I didn't turn it up all the way. Um, a few issues just like when you try to film something. If you're playing a song and then you switch the camera, say you want to film the sound, it just cuts out the speakers. So I had to have someone else uh, pair up their phone, play the song, and um, this way I could film it. So I don't know if that's just glitchy or what, but, you know, I give the sound a good eight, you know, as far as for a portable um, wireless speaker. And, uh, you know, so far so good. I think it's a little expensive. I'm sure it'll come down. I think B&H had one for a three ninety nine and uh, four screen color, not in stock, but so I expect at some point these will be, um, you know, between the like three fifty and three ninety nine range. Um, so unless you urgently need it, but the one thing is that it's the more modern Connect uh, JBL software. So like where the older speakers aren't going to be compatible, this for the new speakers going forward, you're going to be able to chain up to these. So that's one good positive. So that's it on the uh, boombox for now, and then I'll probably do a longer term once I've run this thing for a while. See ya.